It's very obvious that I did miss a lot of toads last time, and while they were in plain sight, for some reason my brain was just not connecting with it as it would in previous episodes for some reason, because usually I don't have too much of a problem finding toads. I don't miss them that often. In fact, I think we've been getting pretty much all the toads in most areas, for the most part at least. By the way, my name is Calvin, also known as Romer, and this is Paper Mario the Origami King. We're here in Shroom City, which is actually Sniffit City. Uh... And let's find some more toads. Wait, have I been missing a pool party? Just fold me back up, Mario. I know how you feel, man. I know how you feel. So, there seems to be some kind of like weird relationship between the Sniffits and the, and, the, and the toads. So there it is, right? And like, I can't believe I didn't notice this because like it's so plain. When you look at it, it's so plain as day. Look at that. <laughs> look at it. It's a freaking toad. Little, like, um, I guess surfboard, what you would call it? I guess so. Um, okay, I think there's another one up here as well. And look, it's okay to miss stuff. You're always gonna miss stuff. Oh, there's one right here. Do we hit it like this? Uh, up like this? Yeah, there it is. I missed 10 straight continental breakfasts. Oh, that sounds bad, dude. We used to go to a hotel, uh, me and my family when we were younger. And man, they made the best scrambled egg. So good. I forget the name of the hotel, but it was good. We can also head up here and go through here, which is something I didn't notice either. And then we can remove the seal as well. I'm okay with missing stuff, guys. Like, it's not the end of the world to me, personally, because that's one of my favorite things um, about JRPGs in general, is the fact that like, you can miss completely some stuff. Wait, is there a co there's a coin in here. You can miss some stuff entirely. So this fell off, so we can't activate this. Whatever it is. Oh. Oh, there's a battle in here. Okay. A little rat. We still have to make it up to the Toad's hotel room as well. Um. So if we do this, move these guys here, move these guys here. Perfect. Um, shiny. I don't. I don't think we'll need shiny hammers on the rats. I think the rats just take a really good whopping, no matter what. Yeah, I, I think the rats are pretty okay, because they're early enemies. They're really early enemies. I also know that I missed something at the sensor lab, guys. I understand that. I'm gonna try my best to get back to these places. Um, like I said, it's human to miss stuff. <laughs> I miss stuff quite a bit, uh, and that's okay. I'm not playing it, um, you know, like, oh, thousand full arms, awesome, so we can lift this back up. I'm playing this completely blind, and if I miss stuff, I definitely, I'm okay with that, but I'd like to go back and find them at the same time, which is why it's good that I have a support group of people. Let go? Oh, we have to keep turning it. I forgot we have to keep turning it like this. It's actually pretty- it's actually pretty neat. Oh, and now we can get the toad off this guy? But how do we get through these doors? Is, is it- can we get through this way? Or these- these windows, I should say. How do we get through these doors that are not doors? I wonder. Oh man, what happened to my wave? Ugh, fountain surfing was played out anyway. I'm gonna go back to my room and invent tub surfing. So he has a key with him. That's important to note. Surfing isn't as fun when you're the board. Well, that's all behind me. I'm free. Free to pursue life where no one can take advantage of me again. I was actually here for a conference on invest... Something about pyramids in the area. Ah, uh, but you don't want to hear about that scheme. Here, take this small token of my gratitude. What do you give me? A heart? Thank you. Max up heart plus 10. That's actually incredibly useful. I'm glad that I was told about this toad, guys. Because if I had missed this, I would have missed another max up of my heart. That's great. So here is the hidden block that people were telling me about. Okay, there we go. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I missed these completely. And the, like it was... Thank you for that. I was stuck in there for so long I had to resort to subliminal marketing techniques. I run the shop next door. Please come by sometime. Yes, I will. I will co I'll actually come by right now. Um, I was missing out on 
everything. And yes, it was unbelievably warm. It was unbelievably hot. I'm not used to, especially in Ireland, Shroom City Shop. So you can buy stuff off him, which is great. Uh, ice balls. Yeah, let's do it. Let's buy... It's a, it's a pity you can't buy a few. We'll buy... We'll get five. We'll get five and, like, whatever. Like, we'll see if that's enough. I'm 100% I'm certain you guys want me to... Oh, that's so expensive. That's so expensive. Why would anyone buy that? Uh, I do want to buy some more flashy boots. Uh, I do want to buy some flashy iron boots. Uh, and I do want to buy... Uh, oh, we only have three of these. Let's get up... To, again, let's get up to like five. Let's get up to like five. Um, actually, I think we're... Like, all our, our other items are working pretty well right now. If we need to buy some more stuff, we can definitely buy them. Uh, we're gonna need them going forward because enemies are getting more, much, much harder. Over here, I believe there's a hidden block. Yeah. <laughs> Very well. Okay. And that's how you get on the roof. Something I wanted to do since, since the start of this level. And we get a POW block for our trouble. Really neat. Okay, there's another hidden block as well. These are some stuff that, like, honestly, I would I feel like I would have seen normally. I feel like I would have. Can we knock you down off this thing then? Get down off that. And then we get another toe for our troubles. I hope you guys can't hear the big tractor outside. I never give up hope, not even when you pass by without seeing me 347 times. <laughs> yep, <laughs> that's that sounds exactly right. That sounds exactly right. Okay, I think we've pretty much gotten the toads that we can get so far. We're gonna have to head upstairs now very quickly to find that toad that we were supposed to find. There's quite a few other places we can go here. Will they let us go here? Hello. This place has been skating on by by the strength of its ancient murals for a long time, if you ask me. All right, all right, I guess the pool is pretty nice too. So tourism, obviously, in this place is affected generally by the ancient murals that can be found. Can I take what's ever in here? You okay with that? Ring trainer, which we have to do, I understand. We have to do. We definitely have to do. I'm just taking it as it goes, though. Taking it as it goes. Any, uh... Why are you watching me, Sniffit? You go back. Go back to your work. Go back to your work. You okay? The new management won't do anything about the racket coming from next door. I'll do something about the racket, sir. I'm your new boss. Oh, shit. I'm your new owner. Jesus Christ. Yeah, they... This looks like they built a hotel on a very, very ancient, like, tomb. <laughs> Hello, sir. No tub, no tub for surfing. Oh, well, this is pretty fun. Oh, that's the tub surfer guy. That's brilliant. Okay, let's explore the other side as well. Man, I love this game. <laughs> I just love booting up this game and, like, taking my, like, sweet time to do something. I know that sounds weird, but I just love the idea of just, like, oh, we need a key. Professor's room key. Show- Wait! That guy had a key! I just want to go back and check to see if he actually ha if he if he had a key. Because remember, he had a key in his hands? I wonder did he put it somewhere, that surfing guy. Did you have a key, sir? No, I'm pretty sure he had a key. Maybe it's just like... Maybe it could have just been for nothing. Like, it could have generally just been for nothing. Like, they just wanted to show this creature with a key to show that it is kind of like... A very, very... I don't know what you would call it. Like a place that's inhabited. Like it's full. It's living. Um, oh, there's also see toads around here. There we go. Oh, you have bugs in your... Well, I guess it's in the desert. It would make sense. Wow, personal wake-up call delivered and ringing, uh, with a ringing hammer bow. The service here is amazing. We're finding more and more toads. We're finding more and more toads around here. Hello, sir. Let me fix this hole right up for you. Very nice, huh? Very nice. A tip? Do you have a tip? Do you have a tip? What's an ancient one? Whoever's in the next room over there won't shut up about them. The walls, these walls are too thin. Wait, so... Is this the door we're looking at? Like, I thought it was upstairs. Let's try this. 
Oh, it is? Okay, yay, that did the trick. Should we head inside and see this professor's room? That's very strange, right? Because I thought it was upstairs. Maybe I just got it completely wrong. Oh, this is pretty nice. I want room service. It's my first time in a hotel. And look at the bed. It's classy yet cozy. I could just lie there and unfold. Oh, Olivia, stop. You're breaking my heart. Ah, but I suppose I don't really have time to relax. Relax if you want. Like, I can come back. So is there anything around here that could help us find that professor, Mario? Uh, there's a book. But that's probably not important. Let's read it. <laughs> Archaeology log. Day XX. At long last, a clue. This may unlock the secrets of the ancient ones. I have recently discovered an ancient treasure. An item that could prove key in my research. I have loosely translated his name as Sun Incense. And it appears to play a role in a certain ancient ceremonies. Fool. Archaeology log day XX. I have obtained the Sun Incense from the Sniffet for a fair price. My preparations are complete. I now make for the Sun Altar. What did you learn, Mario? Is that his journal? I can't read his handwriting, so you'll have to help me. Does it say anything about where he went off and took anything with him? It does. He went back to the Sun Altar, which we know exactly where that Sun Altar is. It's down from the tower. Um, I want to check upstairs for a second. I, th I, I could have sworn. I could have sworn that they, they pointed upstairs. And said that he would like... Oh my god. Hey, look at this. There's a huge picture along the wall. Incredible. What is it though? It's almost like a comic book. Would we call it a comic wall? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, and there's some more there's some more of the mysterious lettering too. I sure hope the toad we're looking for can help us read this language. It seems like it's every uh, everywhere. You can't read this. Yeah. So, oh my god, it's freaking um mole trace. Um Will this open it up? No. <laughs> of course not. Pardon me, you two. I completely forgot area. We upgraded your room. For oh, okay, okay. He's on the first floor of the, of the basic trademark room. Sorry for the mix-up. Oh, I hate to complain, but a mix-up like that is not a good sign. Wait, what? Olivia is standing up for herself. Giving a bad review on TripAdvisor. I... As much as I love Olivia, she totally would be that person who would give, like, a bad review. But it, like, wouldn't be even a terrible review. It's like, I'm very sorry to tell you that there was a stain on my bed. So we knocked over this. I'd still like to go... I, I, I know there's a toad on the light-up sign, like, right out here. I'm not sure exactly how to get it. I think you can go upstairs, though, right? You, you can go upstairs in the hotel at some point. Like, there's no doubt about it. Or maybe it's... Is there a hidden block around here? Okay, we're gonna be coming back here. There's no doubt about it. There's a lot of places we haven't even explored here. Uh, but I guess we should head to the Sun Altar. Because that seems like the next logical step in our game. You okay? But I, I love this place. There's also a door right there. How do we how do we get there? How do I reach these kids? Okay, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Wait, we can't yeah, we it's only VIPs that get to go in there, which I assume in that the, the archaeologist that we're gonna be finding is a VIP. How cool is it that our car was just parked there, like the valet parked it properly for us? Really neat. Oh, oh, there we go. We won't battle as much as we're heading along here. Is this the sun altar? No, we know what the sun altar is. Um, but first, I want to head over here really quickly. <laughs> I know people are like, Calvin's taking this as side track again. Uh, I just want to check what's over here. We're not going to battle anything right now, but I just want to make sure that we... So there's another tower over here, yeah. Wait, you didn't want to fight me now that I'm like, like this? Proud to haunt the Hohen's region's favorite mysterious towers. Yeah, I don't, I don't think we're even supposed to be in these towers yet. I really don't, but there's some toads over here I'd like to obtain. 
Oh, another one of those lanky guys. Because I think what we're going to have to do is, I think I think we're going to have to connect to all four towers. I think there's going to be four towers. And the reason I think that is because there, there was a thing up there. We'll save these guys anyway. I need closure. There was a, um... A picture on the wall that showed four shining lights shining at each other. And I'm thinking that's what it, it's it's for. Look at this Grim Reaper. I love the way they draw that. It looks like Lord Death from freaking uh, without the spikes on the chin, of course. From uh, Soul Eater. Okay, interesting way of doing this. The extra 20 seconds is pretty great, and the extra health is pretty great too. Um, let's move this here, and let's move this here. And I think we could probably jump with some flashy boots. I don't know what damage these guys take. But it's best just to, like, just get rid of them. It's best just to get rid of them. And we can use a shiny hammer. We have a few shiny hammers on as well, so I'm not too worried about using those as much. Wow, the stands are really filling up, guys. So we have to use a fla maybe use a flashy hammer on these guys. Just, just plain and simple. There's no other way of really looking at it. I mean, here we won't have to because we can use the flashy boots or the shiny iron boots even. Or just the boots because they're so weakened. We're just going to have to, like, use uh, a more powerful weapon than the shiny hammer. The shiny hammer still works on some of these guys, but... I think I might have bought too many. <laughs> Very well. And there's another one. You were a skull. Did you know that we all have skeletons inside our bodies? I didn't know that. How'd you how'd you find that out? Yeah. Look, let's take this place as we go. I think we're gonna have to come back here at some point. Thanks for your help, front desk sniffit. The room is posh but tasteful. I may have rolled around the bed a little bit. <laughs> Don't worry, it happens all the time. Oh, that reminds you, a colleague was asking after a particular trinket we had in display. I didn't want to sell it to him, but he simply insisted, so I may have charged a bit more than it's worth. I've been feeling bad about that, so why don't you take another one for free? Sun incense. Oh, do we have to drop this at the sun altar? So, guys, by the way, I completely went... Obviously, this is what I had to get. I've been talking to, like, so many people just along the way, seeing if they know anything about this, and this is exactly what we need to do. Um, I... I... Glad I came back here after a while. I feel better. Thank you for that. Now, if you're still looking to meet up with your friend, you went off happily somewhere, I'm afraid. We don't offer concierge services, but you may want to check in with the Desert Help Kiosk attendant in town so you don't get lost. Um... There we go. <laughs> I think now we can put this in the Sun Altar, though, right? Because this is the thing we have to put into the actual thing at the Sun Altar. He wasn't there at the Sun Altar. He was not there at the Sun Altar. Um, the game, like, pretty much said that he, like, yeah, like he was, he went to the Sun Altar, and he, and I guess, I guess you have to trigger some more events before you can actually see him at the Sun Altar, which is fair enough. Which is fair enough. Are you the help desk? I don't need no help. No, let's talk. Welcome to the Desert Help Kiosk, how can I help you? Um... Why, look, we know, we've seen all this stuff. Did you park my car again? Thank you, I parked in such a shitty place. What a great valet. I should give a tip. Tips are, tips are like a, a big thing in America, I think, right? Um, they're like, you're supposed to give a tip because like a lot of people live on tips. Over here, it's not as big of a thing. It's very, it's a courteous thing, right? It's a courteous thing to give a tip. Uh, we went uh, for uh, dinner for my sister's birthday, and like the waiter was so nice that I was just like, I, like my my food came to like fifteen, and like I was just like, man, please take this because holy shit, they work hard, they freaking work hard, like they do, like like and and because it's seen as like a low level job, no one ever talks about like how like like these people work like so as some of the hardest working people in the freaking world. And they have to deal with so much shit off people too. Aren't you gonna save here? Oh, okay. Okay. What is it? Let's put in the sun incense. Oh, there's like two rows of items now. Oh, wow. I didn't expect that. Oh, it's smoking. And the smoke is so fragrant. It smells like a sunny day. It's like we're just laying out in the sun with a care without a care in the world. Olivia really loves life, and the idea of life, and it's something I admire so much. Is that the Velemental?
What is this? Oh no, it's a sandstorm. Are we trapped? I'm scared, Mario. What's gonna happen next? This is freaking beautiful, though. Oh, look at those spikes. Uh, but that's not too bad. Maybe it's just a cool cactus. Hi, cactus. Oh god, Olivia, you're gonna get it killed. It's not Olivia's fault. Oh my lord, it's a paper macho freaking cactus. Oh, who am I kidding? That is kind of creepy. This isn't good. Oh my god, are you falling? So that's gonna be its move. It's gonna fall down, then we have to hit it, maybe? There's a seal over here. Okay, we can do this. Should we get in there? It's Oh, should we get in the car now? This is so cool. Oh my lord. Drop down on me. So we knocked that off at least. And there's a, is that a black heart? Okay, okay. Okay, let's run. Let's run from this. Oh my god, there's multiple. No, you don't. No, I'm not dying today. I'm not dying today. Not today. Not today. Mike today. One of the greatest announcers of all time. Okay, come on, you can do it. Drop down on me again. Really cool enemy. Oh shit, no, that was my bad. I should, oh, oh, oh. Get in, get in, Mario. So we have to wait till it turns orange to actually do this. But it actually works out pretty well. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Just like a normal paper macho guy. And like, what's great is that they give us heals right afterwards. Like, we're pretty much started. No, not today. No, there we go. Try and get away from these tornadoes. No, it's so fast. Oh, we take 15 damage as well. Where are we going? Okay, 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 okay. Oh, wow, you are a, a smaller boy now. Oh, is he... he I, I was thinking he's going to do his thing. No! Okay, we need to get closer. We need to definitely be closer to this thing. Man, I love this. And I was talking about it in, in a previous... Uh, oh, no, 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 not again! <laughs> this is actually so much fun, though. Just tapping, tapping away, tapping away. Again? Oh, okay. <laughs> get out of the, get out of here, you. Come on. I have a feeling that it's going to get way worse, though, when he turns into one head, because then he's going to be spin he's probably going to be spinning around like a freaking magioke. No, oh, we need to get way closer. We need to be way closer to this 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 buddy. Okay, okay, okay. Oh my. Okay, we're right in the eye of the storm. It helped us out quite a bit. Okay. Man, this is really hard for me to avoid. Okay, let's st let's stay a little bit closer. See, it it makes you want to like go away, right? There we go. Now there's only one left, and we can also get the black heart. Is that a black heart, or is it just that it's from above? This is one of my. This is one of the coolest things, guys. I love when they do this type of stuff. Again, we were talking about how like it definitely reminds us a little bit of Super Paper Mario in a way. Oh no, you don't. There's a toad around here. Oh, I guess the toad will be inside this thing, like it was with the octopus. There we go, we got it, we got it. This is so crazy that they have this stuff in it as well. Oh, it's him. He got trapped, obviously, in this thing. It's really cool seeing the confetti fall down. It's not always cool, but it is cool to see this now. Well, look at that weird chunk of confetti. <laughs> Olivia, I don't... Yeah, it's a weird chunk of confetti. It's a weird little chunk of confetti. I'm saved! Oh, thank you! You were eaten by a cactus. What was it like? Well, all things considered, it could have been wor- Wait. 
Who are you? I've never seen anything like you. Are you one of the ancient ones? Tell me. Ancient? Little old me? <laughs> no, no, I'm just Olivia. Nice to meet you. Uh, man, I love Olivia's first question is how it was like to be consumed by a cactus. And what's going on with this altar? Who did this? Hmm, yes, it seems the ancient rituals were observed correctly. Whoa, you can read that writing? Well, of course, I'm a professor of ancient studies. This has been written in the language of the ancient ones. Studying it is my life's work. Yes, we finally found a translator. Now you can tell us what this all means. I, I'm so excited to have a professor helping us now. Oh, but before you begin, who are the ancient ones anyway? Well, the ancient ones are peop uh, people who existed in this geographical region a long time ago. Legend has it that one of these ancient ones still survives today, and I've been seeking this person for quite some time. You see, I've dedicated my career to learning more about the ancient civilizations based in this desert. One day I hope to unearth a legendary figure from those times in the ancient texts. He is known as simply as Captain Toed. Like Captain Toad? Captain Von Hoosit? <laughs> what a funny name. What, well, you think Captain this Captain person has something to do with something called the sea chart? Professor, I think we should meet uh, the Captain Tweed person too. Oh, but we need to do something about the streamer in the desert before that. Wait, can you come with us to help translate the mysterious writing? That may help a lot. Well, according to my research, there may be extensive evidence about Captain Tweed hidden in the desert. As a matter of fact, I was just conducting research on this very altar when I was consumed. There is a non-zero chance that I may uh, be consumed again, if I get to you alone. And not just by my research. Ah, but with Mario by my side, my survival might be more assured. Oh, I digress and blather. I accept your offer. Perhaps together we shall yet solve the mystery of uh, Mr. Mysterious Captain Tweed. Great. Oh, it's exciting. Getting to work with an actual professor. Yes, well, don't get too excited. Much of our time is merely spent on covering incredible ancient relics and being chased by adversaries. Now, I noticed some ancient writing on the second floor of my hotel. That might help us. They may hide a clue about your streamer as well. Wow, you're already helping so much. Maybe you can even re-explain all that complicated stuff you just said along the way. I kind of spaced out. And with that... Wait, let's... We will say goodbye to you guys, and I will see you guys very soon. I love the lighting here as well. It's really nice, the purple. How the purple lights up as pink.